My name is Brian George. I'm the head cross country and assistant track and field coach here at the University of Laverne. And this morning, uh, we're here with Lenore Moreno. She's fresh off a of victory in the 5,000 meters at the NCAA Division III Indoor Track and Field Championships. How are you doing today, Lenore? I'm doing good, thank you. And the last time you stepped foot on the track was in last May with the Outdoor Championships. Um, so you had quite, quite a long wait. So what kind of things did you do to get ready for this? Um, I was running anywhere from 80 to 90 miles a week. Uh, you know, I would have a long run once a week and that would usually be anywhere from um, 16 miles to like 20 miles, mm -hmm. which was my most. Yeah. Um, I would do that and then do a lot of like strength training and Great. Um, like core workouts and stuff like that. Okay. Alright, so it's your turn to race, Lenore. Uh, you're being escorted out to the start line. What's going through your mind in the moments that are leading up to the gun? I was just ready to go. I, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted it. I wanted to, you know, I knew I was capable. I knew I was fit enough to, to, do a, to have a good race. Mm -hmm. And the ultimate goal was to win, and that was, I'm going to be honest, that was what was on my mind the whole <laughs> great, time. I great. wanted to win. Do you think you can win the race right at that moment? Honestly, I, I did. I, I knew I wanted it more than anyone on that line, and I was, I was going to do whatever it took to, to just go out there, to give it my all, and just to, to hopefully mm -hmm. to win and, and okay. to bring back the championship to Laverne. <laughs> so with about six laps to go, I remember standing over by the track and you gave me a little look <laughs> like I'm really hurting bad coach. With about like six laps to go, I definitely started feeling it. I started, I mean, I felt, you know, the, how we went out fast, it definitely started affecting me at that point. Um, you know, I, I looked to you for comfort cause like, <laughs> <laughs> and you definitely did give me that. And even though I knew you were hurting, I mean, you still finished really strong and yet in particular, last couple laps were very fast. I mean, where did you, where do you pull that strength from when you're so tired? I thought of my teammates and I was like, you know, I want to do this for them. They've given me so much support and encouragement and I couldn't let them down. Mm -hmm. Same thing with my coaches and my, my family. And I just, you know, I definitely thought of them and that definitely helped me to to finish. Right when you crossed the line, what kind of emotions were going through your, your head when that happened? I probably could have cried. I held it in so bad. You know, I right away, like, first thing I did was thank God and everything. And I felt on top of the world, honestly. It was just something I'm never going to forget, honestly. There's no words to really explain it. But, you know, I've watched, like, other races and seen other girls where they win and stuff like that. And I'm like, I would love to be that person and to finally be that person. It felt amazing. Well, it was great to talk with you today, Lenore. We really look forward to seeing how you can do um, in the outdoor season for over the next couple months. Thank you.